Well, thanks for joining us, Direwolf. Ah, oh, I, I knew you were there. You didn't. You didn't. Uh, yeah, you knew. I knew you were there the whole oh, time. Oh yeah, I could tell you. I could tell you knew. You just totally knew. Your back was turned and everything. Let me get the fur off my tongue. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were there. Anyway, anyway, you cannot sneak up on me. I am perfect hunting machine. Perfect hunting machine. That's interesting. You like the cold weather, don't you? I mean, it's it's something that you're just built for, right? Cold weather is nice. It reminds me of Motherland, but I can be found everywhere. I am the perfect killer. I can go in the mountains, in the jungles. Wherever you find victims, I will eat them. Goodness gracious. Now, what, why is, why the hell? Now, I'm just, I'm just asking here, because even when, even when I see dire wolves by themselves, they will stop and they will howl. Where's the element of surprise there, perfect killing machine? You see, once we are that close, it is over. There is no escape. So we howl to let you know your life is over. It's like battle cry. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we should actually be very, very afraid uh, when we hear that howl and not necessarily looking to get our own shot off. No, because when you hear howl, that means, yeah, you see me. You're like, oh, look, there's big boy howl. Surprise. Three friend come from behind. Get you. Down. Over. It's interesting you men mentioned the three friends. Uh, you are stronger in packs, it seems like. Do you have a perfect number for a pack? There is one alpha, the strongest of the pack. We are in charge. We live off Big Howl, and we can charge up to three people. That is the perfect number of comrade. No more, no less, huh? Ah, uh, less is okay, not ideal, but no more. No more than that, then we make multiple. There can be multiple alphas. Wow. Now, now, do you actually have requirements for what makes a good pack? Like, is there a certain style of attack, certain color, certain ability that you look for to, to make your pack? We like to keep close bonds. So, so really, if there's open space, closest person you come join us is okay. We can be friends. There's no major requirement. But I prefer to keep the strongest of the group in my pack. You see the ones behind me? They are, they've been mm. eating for years. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to get you guys too ticked off right now. At all. Now you, uh, no, if you do, it would be the last thing you do, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, especially right now, four on one, not good for me. Uh, <laughs> now, you, easy fight, easy fight all day. It would be. Uh, when you go out into the open, when you are out hunting, when you are out searching, um, are there dinos that you avoid? Are there dinos that you are actually afraid of just rushing up on, or or is there no fear whatsoever? I would like to be very clear. There is no fear. We will kill anything. But those giant birds, I, I don't like them. One picked me up one time, dropped me off in the ocean. I poop in the ocean. A shark chased me for a mile. It was terrible, terrible. So I, I don't go near birds anymore. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I never even thought about the idea of being picked up. Does that mean you're afraid of heights? Uh, I, I, no, see, we're not afraid of anything, but again, it's not ideal. When I'm on top of mountain, I feel victorious, but as soon as I not feel snow under my feet, oh gosh, oh no, it's over. Well, let's go the opposite direction then. You know, you talked about being on the mountain, but people tend to want to take you into those caves that, that go down into the ground and whatnot. Uh, uh, do you enjoy going to caves? Uh, to be honest with you, caving is fun. There's lots of crunchy bugs and big spiders that go all the time, and they think they're tough, but boy, as soon as we let off big howl, we, you know, we chomp chomp, we keep the survivor nice and warm, there's no freezing, they get the, uh, the little glowing rock at the bottom, and they give me extra pets after that, so to be honest with you, win-win. Ah. Now, there are many different caves uh, when it comes to the different territories that they'll find you. Um, do you have a particular cave that you just absolutely love to be taken in? There is cave in mountain full of snow. Not the one with a uh, big polar bear, though. That one, not fun. The other cave full of snow, though. That's okay. I, I like that one. Oh, ah, okay. 
Um, now, so you you don't like the the big. I was going to ask if there was one that you don't like. Is there one that's just particularly like, no, please leave me alone? And, and the water caves, I know, are off limits. Nobody's going to take you into the water it, caves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wolves are good at a lot of things, but as soon as we get into water, he's like, uh, he's like molasses. We cannot swim. <laughs> uh, but the, the big cave, Ivanovich was hit by polar bear, fell into ice water. Oh, boy. It was it was a bad, terrible situation. We had to get new alpha. That's how I got my job. But uh, we don't go in that cave anymore. <laughs> No, you didn't set him up for that, did you? Uh, I, yeah, I'm sorry, I have to take this phone call. <laughs> yes, I imagine. So you're one of the few residents, I guess we could call you, of the ARCs that does not require uh, a saddle. Now, are you happy to not have one, or, or would you actually like to have that extra armor? Armor is nice, but it, it makes too much noise. It's unable to uh, run through the wilderness quietly when it goes... So I like to let, you know, you sit on my back, you grab my fur. Is We get closer that way. Is is better way to connect. Gotcha. So you, it's because of the noise, and yet you still do the howl. Okay, well, it's very different noise because armor say click, 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 so we can't, you know, sneak up. But the, the howl, it says, hello, look out, big trouble time. Gotcha. It's the surprise mother, and we won't get into that. Um, Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, flexing muscles, <laughs> battle cry, all that fun stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Wonderful. Um, So what is, what's one thing that you wish people would actually know about you? I, I mean, we see you, we see the dire wolf very often uh some people choose to bypass some people run as maybe you think they should uh they should be afraid um and others you know will tame will tame the dire wolf and put it to use but they may not know everything about it uh, about what the dire wolf is so would you mind giving me one idea one thing that you wish people did know or remember about the dire wolf as much as direwolf like to fight, as much as we love hunting and exploring, we are also very good at smelling out intruders. If somebody is in the base, if there is a dead body, a wounded animal, uh, explorer notes, all of these things we can smell for you and point it out to you so, so we can get stronger together and increase the bond. Increase the bond. So you really are a, a, a people person at your core. Uh, you know, I am very tough hunting, but I am very good boy. <laughs> very good boy. Well, I appreciate you joining me for this little creature corner. And uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind allowing me to leave without killing me, I would greatly appreciate it. I will give you four second head start. Oh. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs>